everyone. You're welcome to the Total Education Show. School is not just about academic subjects alone. School is also about co-curricular activities. School is engagement with fun. Development of a child is 360. And that's why we have started this program, Total Education Show. Stream is here to raise kids that will identify the problems, come together as a group, and they see a way to correct the error. We normally say that we have four baskets of rice. So four, that, four baskets of, of rights. Of right. At the end of three year training in technical colleges, okay. students are competent enough to take any job. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Hello friends, hello everyone at home. My name is Wumi Tolu Alalade, the anchor on the Total Education Show. Yes, Total Education Show. The show is put together and packaged by the Lagos State Ministry of Education for your co-curricular aspect of education. So you have a total and a, a valued education system even in your homes. Yes. Now what areas will we be looking at? We're going to be looking at STEM, at STEM issues. We're going to be looking at TVET and we'll be looking at, yes, child protection issues. Everything that has to do with child protection and advocacy of your children, even as they are home. Now, do you want to give me feedback? Yes, I want to hear from you. You can send in your feedbacks to me on this WhatsApp number 081-26601-889. Yes, WhatsApp messages only on 081-26601-889. Yes, I'm waiting and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. This is another episode of the Total Education Show. So today we have with us a very, very important guest, a very special guest of honor indeed. The Permanent Secretary, Lagos State Ministry of Education, Mrs. Abosede Omobolanle Adelaja. You're welcome to the Total Education Show, ma. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to be here today. Thank you so much. We appreciate you for fixing us in part of your very busy schedule so that we can have this discussion and then so that our, our listeners will be able to know the mind of the state and of course your vision concerning some issues we'll be discussing today. Now let me tell you a little bit about our mommy. She's mommy education. You know the Ministry of Education is the overall, the modern ministry that oversees all the education districts and as well all our departments in the Ministry of Education. And she is um, a member of the Nigerian Institute of Management. She's also a fellow in the Chartered Institute of Administration. Ma, I would like to start our questions on that note. And I would like you to kind of um, talk to us and let us know what exactly does it entail in your career line, the little I've talked about. I want you to say it by yourself. What does it entail being a permanent secretary in the Lagos State uh, Service. Permanent secretary's position is the echelon of the service and is a dream position that everyone aspires to get to. Well, it's a position of responsibility and also a position for hard working people. The, you, as the permanent secretary, you are the accounting officer of your ministry which means every day to day running of the ministry you must be in the know when it's time for reporting you have to give accounts and we have so many levels of reporting so it is not a position for a lazy person definitely not <laughs> also it's not a position for someone that is not conversant with day-to-day -day running of the relevant ministry you are in. Because at any point in time you are called upon, you'll be able to speak on your agency. Rome was not built in, in one day. day. Yeah. 
And so you must have started your tutelage from the beginning of your career, building on it on a daily basis with various responsibilities and duty posts, and then to climb us to the position of a permanent, permanent secretary. secretary. Yes, thank you, Ma, for shedding light on that. I'm sure a lot of people want and they aspire to be the, a permanent secretary at the end of their career. Um, now we'll go on straight to the matter of the day, which is talking about the curriculum. The curriculum is the bane of uh, any learning taking place in, any, in our schools. And one of the transformation plan of this present administration is the review and optimization of the school curriculum. Can you please ma, intimate us with um, what has been done so far as regards the curriculum? Like the rightly States? said, curriculum content is important in the delivery of education. And curriculum must meet the needs of the students. If it doesn't, then it is just a theory. And let me illustrate with the past experience. In those days, it's rote learning. You cram. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you don't have deep understanding of what you are taught. You just cram and you go and pour. In the past, you have to be a doctor, you have to be a lawyer. I see those were the only profession. <laughs> that was the, it was, they were prestigious career and profession. So every parent aspired that their children, children should be. But today, they want to be a photographer, mm -hmm. they want to be a dancer, mm -hmm. they want to be an, an artist, actor, an they actress. want to be actor, actress, mm -hmm. they want computer to be a musician, part. they want to be a computer guru. Mm -hmm. And so you could see that there is total change. Yes. All those revered careers, the children of today are not so keen. Mm. Only very few. Definitely. Majority are into the technological world. They want to be a communication specialist. Yes. <laughs> you know, things that we never regarded. You want to be an athlete. You want to be a footballer. Mm -hmm. And those things, they make a lot they of money. They make career of and all these things in now. All those areas now. So you don't see people pursuing such careers as never do well again. Mm -mm. The whole system has changed. So whether we like it or not, the best option is to change the curriculum. And I want to let you also know that this present administration of Mr. Baba Didi from Wolu, he has six pillars for his administration. Yes. And the third pillar, which is called things, and the third pillar, which is E. Mm -hmm is education and technology. So our curriculum must reflect that particular pillar. And so that has also called for the need to review our curriculum. And that is why in the Ministry of Education of Lagos State, we believe the best time to review the curriculum is now. So that it can meet the needs of the present day learners. Thank you very much. That has been very expressive. Yes, let's go for a short break now so that we can look at the curriculum service department and what they do in the Lagos State Ministry of Education. The curriculum services department of the Ministry of Education is saddled with the responsibility of reviewing the schemes of work to ensure that they align with the national curriculum. And uh, in line also with the BOS Education Transformation Plan of 20, year 2020, we have embarked on an extensive review of all the schemes of work from nursery to, that is early childhood education, to senior secondary school. And right now, the, senior, the review of the senior secondary school is ongoing. We have almost concluded it. And, uh, the plan is to make sure that these schemes are now very, very interactive, that the teachers, when they are using it, they have video links, they have uh, websites to web resources that we can, they can use in the class. And it's going to be something new. It's a new package entirely. 
and it's going to be quite different from what we have always known. By this, we expect better learning experiences and outcomes from the children. There are going to be a lot of learning activities. There are going to be a lot of uh, video links and uh, web resources to just mention a few. It's a total package and it's meant for better outcomes, deeper learning in the lives of the children. This year, major book review year 2020 is the China Affair, which is every three, three years that we review all the textbooks that are used in our schools. And right now we are in the collection period. We are reviewing reports that have been submitted and we are now collecting the results so that at the end of the day we have a list which will be judged basically on the reports that we receive from the reviewers. Because we want fairness for the authors. We call it we want quality books to be read by our students in legal states because we cannot afford to fail the students. We must select books that will impact them positively. Not just impacting them positively, the books must be in line with the national curriculum and the schemes of work for the state. Equally, we, we watch out for trabas laws, profanities, and unfriendly languages in these books. And where we discover any of such, we read out such books from the possible list that would have, that would, that, that would come out of this process. It's been engaging, and of course, we're also learning. It was with the books. That's only something for you to learn. Welcome back to the Total Education Show. Do you have comments? Do you have questions? Do you have something you want to know more about that the Permanent Secretary has not spoken about? Do send us comments, questions, and all your contributions on the number showing on your screen. You can even check out this episode and other previous episodes on our uh, YouTube channel and as well on all the platforms of the Education Ministry. Also on the Instagram page of the Total Education Show. On that note, I want us to go straight to uh, the devices. All over the news, the media, we see that Lagos State Ministry of Education has started giving um, devices to students and to teachers and these devices were donated by some corporate organizations for the students mm -hmm. and for those teachers and uh, i know in the time past when i was in the school people don't they don't allow people to use or students to use devices in fact if you see any child <laughs> with any phone or anything they are always seized and you know but now that has um, changed the COVID situation yeah, the COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic mm. has actually pushed, pushed us everyone. forward <laughs> to begin to look in the technological mm. aspect for education. That should not just be a pillar that is just there. Let it actually be seen in okay. an educational system that we are using technology to drive education. I know you started with the primary school yes. when they started with um, the present Eco Excel, where all the teachers were given devices yes. to be able to teach in the classroom. And now in the post primary, they, they now have the devices. Yes. For the when the issue of Eco Excel came in, and teachers were trained and were given uh, tablets, customized tablets to teach the pupils. We already, the secondary school began to agitate. So what are you going <laughs> to do for us? Yes, now. And that set us thinking that we need to evolve a program for yes, them student. with the support of corporate organizations like First Bank, Nigeria PLC, Old Mutual. Earlier in the year, we launched the public private 
partnership. partnership program of the ministry that please in Lagos State the policy is free education and we realize that to give a quality education it requires a lot of money Definitely. and also knowing that we'll be deceiving ourselves to say only government should carry the responsibility because government has so many other responsibilities mm -hmm. in the area of health housing yes. environment and the so on ministries that they so work. we thought of having this program of ppp public private partnership, partnership to support our schools particularly when the pandemic started it all came as emergency and we felt we don't know when the schools will be reopened it's good for these children and to, to be, be learning at home so we put the, our heads together in the Ministry of Education with the Honorable Commissioner, Mrs. Flash Ade, Ade Fisayo, and we all came together to plan programs. Mm -hmm. And that brought us to various programs, mm -hmm. out of which Total Education mm -hmm. also came on board. Mm -hmm. The primary school had a quick exam, mm -hmm. and not only that, they were also having the radio interactive instruction program. So while we consolidated on that as well, we now came to junior secondary. Mm. We also introduced the radio program yeah, instruction okay. mm -hmm. for the secondary school, both at junior, making use of Wazobia and Niger FM stations. Yes. and Wazobia FM. Max TV. Yes, yes. They also came to support us with other partners like South and Sahara. Mm. Even TVC. TVC. Television continent. You know, all of them, they all came mm. to support us in this drive to make sure that the students are learning mm. while the schools are closed. Mm. And as of today, the Ministry of Education has distributed 7,600 devices to teachers wow, wow. and pupils. That's awesome. Good one. We also provided 9,500 radio sets mm -hmm. yeah. to help them follow the radio, the radio instruction mm -hmm. on daily basis. Mm -hmm. We have people like the First Lady and members of Council, Committee of Wives, Wives of Savvy Lagos State Officials mm -hmm. coming to our aid to help us even the honorable commissioner herself <laughs> all the permanent secretary yes, and permanent yes, secretary to mm. general everybody came mm. on board because we felt that we need to help these children and we saw it as a responsibility mm. and when we started that others joined yes and i'm still calling mm. more people to join okay. us in this journey mm. to make sure that, that our children right. are seriously learning at home. We just heard Mommy Adelaja tell us about the devices, the radio, and all other technological inputs of the Lagos State Ministry of Education to ensure that the children and the students in the school are at par with their co comrades, uh, their colleagues in other schools and in other sectors. So we will go on now on a short break and then we we'll look at how this is done and evidences to buttress what she has said. Please don't go away. Keep sit tight as we show you some of those clips in this next video. Since the beginning of his administration, Governor Babajide Songwulu has been unrelenting in ensuring that students in the state get the best of education. The efforts of the Lagos State government was recently complemented by First Bank of Nigeria Limited as the corporate organization donated 20,000 digital devices to the state government. What First Bank has done, what you are also going to be going for, is that you are writing your name clearly in the hearts and the minds of the very part of the and several hundreds of thousands of that school pupils who will be forever be grateful to that brand, who will be forever be grateful to the collaboration we give given to the educational system in Lagos State.
Ministry of Education, we said over and over that we want to work with partners. We are open to working with partners because we know the magnitude of the issues at hand are so enormous that we know that we cannot, there's no way we can conjure up the resources to do everything that we need to do. And so we would appreciate the support of partners. And I call on other partners to do what First Bank has done and support us in ensuring that no child in Lagos State goes to school without the advantage of e-learning. The media also understand that every child has potential, irrespective of their class, age, their level of IQ, the way they, are, they look, their political background or school. Every child has potential. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu has unveiled 5,000 transistor radios, 5,000 face masks and cash donation by the Committee of Wives of Lagos State Officials Council to improve access to educational content by pupils and students in the state in response to the challenges thrown by the COVID-19 pandemic. The challenges posed by this pandemic is one that we all must face together and by God's grace we conquer. What council is donating this morning is to improve and um, enhance the learning capability of the children. And so we're indeed excited that um, they've been able to put this together for them. This was another opportunity for us. Apart from doing the palliatives that were given out during the lockdown, we needed to think of the new normal the post-COVID period and the way forward. And since the um, Ministry of Education was looking at um, improving on their e-learning and also, by the grace of God, having an educational station, the radio transistors was the ideal thing. On behalf of students of Lagos State, we promise that we'll make great use of it so that we can continue to Enhance our learning. The ministry, upon receipt of these devices, immediately distributed to the districts who then ensure it gets to the communities. I'm so happy for this gift they gave us because it helped us to boost our level of education. In Lagos State, since the school has been shut down since March 22nd, we cannot say our students have been lazy about it because there have been television programs, there have been online teaching via telegrams. For launching this thing now in our own locality, the issue that parents have been craving for, our children don't have phone, we have not been able to hit. How can we get phone as been resolved? No more excuse that because of data, they cannot participate in the le uh, teaching and learning going on on the school platform. They may have radio in their homes, but while they are outside the homes, either in mommy's shop or daddy's shop, they don't have access to radio. But now that there is a portable radio for them, and uh, when we give them the time that a particular lesson will come up, that they will be able to tune in and benefit. This device will enhance our learning, why we cannot see um, our teachers and we cannot do exams physically, we can now do them virtually. This is the first time that we are going to stay at home very long like this and I don't really like it. So I thank God for this that has been given to us and I want to appreciate our government. the COVID-19 um, pandemic that is presently going on, we felt that it was important that some we people started to support education. The students promised to make judicious use of these devices. The device being given to us, I really, really do appreciate it. With these devices, more students will be able to access the various learning platforms initiated by the Lagos State Government. I want to appreciate the corporate organizations individuals that have responded to our call for one million drive devices for Lagos State public school students. I want to assure all students in Lagos State that these devices will get it will soon get to every one of us. We only started with people in the underserved communities so that they can partake in the teaching and learning has been organized by the state government. We have come to the end of today's 
package an episode of the Total Education Show. And we thank the Permanent Secretary for being here today. Thank you so much, Ma. Uh, and I want to use this opportunity to also tell our parents and all stakeholders of education that the show is for each and everyone. And please encourage your children to continue to log on and join us whenever we have this program. It's heard at the same time, same station, on your screen and we want to hear feedback from you we have the number rolling on your screen and we will expect your comments your questions uh, on this note we'll say thank you and bye bye for now i remain your host mommy to see you bye